Hello and welcome back. This video we will see the prerequisites uh, for Unity catalog configuration. Here I am using my personal account for this demo. And first step, so use uh, portal.azure.com to log into Azure and use your credential to log in. So I am using my credential. All right, the first step is uh, create a user for our demo. So go to Azure Active Directory where you have option to create new user. So go to this user section and go ahead and create a new user for our demo. So use this button to create. So use this create a new user option. So you have an invite external user, but uh, use this create new user option. And type your username here so i am using this name right so this is my username and this is my domain so if you have purchased your domain so it will be something different but here my domain name is uh, this one and uh, you can choose this uh, auto uh, display name right and the password you can use your uh, password whatever the password you are going to use right and uh, go to the property so here you can leave it so again if you want you can fill all these details and assignment part here we have to assign a role active directory global administrator role so use this option to add a new role. So this will uh, help you to add a directory role. So what I'm going to search here is the global administrator. Okay. And select this and uh, go ahead and review and create. So you can see the user is uh, created and uh, note down this user ID and uh, we will be using this user id uh, for upcoming demo so this is the user id and uh, again this domain uh, looks like a little weird but still this is fine okay uh, we have created and added active directory um, global administrator role next thing at the subscription level this user has to assign certain roles so search the subscriptions and choose your subscription where you are going to um, deploy your databricks so i have only one subscription available choose that subscription and uh, go to identity and access management iam control and uh, here you can add this right a new role add role assignment and uh, choose this role uh, owner role for this account okay so you can choose this uh, user group or service principle and select member and where you can choose your id whatever the id we created just now and choose that select and review and assign so that's it <clears throat> you need to do uh, from your azure main account so now we have created a separate account for our demo and that account has added Active Directory Global Administrator and Subscription Level Owner. So the next thing we will go ahead and log in with that ID and create our remaining resources. We will see that in a moment. So for that, what you can do is you can sign out from here, right? And uh, make a note of your account ID. So this is the account that we need to log in and this is the new account that we created just now. So use another account option and log in. So this will ask you to type your password. So this is the password we have uh, added at the time of user creation and uh, immediately it will ask you to change that password
So use your uh, strong password. Otherwise, you may get an error message stating the password is weak. So use that with uh, password with uppercase, lowercase and special character. And uh, so we are going to change this password. And uh, the an another thing <clears throat> in my account, I have set up uh, multi-factor authentication and uh, it will prompt you to uh, set up multi-factor authentication for uh, new users. And that is the reason it's asking for you to set up. But uh, since it's completely a demo <coughs> account and <coughs> I will create this account within a, uh, after this demo. So I will leave and use this ask this later ask later option to configure it later. Otherwise you can go ahead and configure multi-factor authentication. So we are able to log in, to log in with this new account. What we are going to do is we are going to create the resources which are needed for this demo. The first step is the resource group. So go ahead and create uh, this uh, resource group and uh, use this option to create a new resource group and choose your subscription and resource group uh, name is like uh, unity catalog underscore demo or whatever the name which suits for you, you can choose and the location whatever the location uh, you belongs to choose that location i'm choosing selecting south india and uh, the tag is an optional entry so which, which will describe about this resource group and uh, i'm leave it as default and then create so once created, so you can go to that resource group and place your resources. So we need to create a um, Databricks workspace, storage account and access connector for Databricks. So we will create and add permission for all those resources here. So first step, go ahead and create a Databricks workspace. Search uh, Databricks here. right Azure Databricks and uh, choose that workspace and go ahead and create. So choose the subscription and resource group where you want to place. Okay so this is the resource group we just created and workspace name uh, some workspace name my demo um, Databricks workspace 01 whatever the name you can choose and uh, make sure you select the same location for all the resources here also in the south india and the tier you can see the standard premium and a trial databricks need uh, databricks unity catalog require a premium tier so always choose this premium tier for your workspace and coming to the networking so if you want to build uh, this workspace in your own custom network you can choose this yes otherwise default so default means databricks will create a virtual network for itself and it will control everything so you don't need to worry about anything databricks will take care of that so for this demo you can choose this default which is no for this two option and coming to the encryption we are not choosing anything here so leave it as default tags again it's optional if you want to add certain tag yes that is absolutely fine otherwise you can leave this and review and create so it will do the certain basic validation once this is succeeded and you can go ahead and create this uh, resource so while this is getting deployed we can create other resources so the next resource is a storage account type storage you can see the storage account select that and create a storage account you can choose this option or from here also you can do the same thing and uh, here also i'm going to place this storage account in the same resource group that we have okay choose the subscription and resource group where you want to place and storage account name uh, you see demo storage some name you can choose and this name should be globally unique otherwise you will get a warning or error message stating this name already in use and you cannot 
but uh, you need to make sure you are entering a unique name and here also choose the same location that we selected for other which is south india right and uh, uh, storage tier performance tier so you don't need a premium standard is fine and redundancy i'm not worried about a redundancy fact uh, uh, here so i can choose the locally redundant that is absolutely fine for this demo and coming to the advance you need to choose uh, this option for adls enable hierarchical namespace so this must be selected and networking i am again i am not adding much uh, protection here so leaving as yes, default and data protection also leaving default encryption that is also fine default and the tags also are not are going to add anything again it's optional you can add certain tag if you wish and the review it will do the validation and again if any validation error so you need to uh, check that otherwise go ahead and create so this deployment also in progress and we need uh, one more resource that is uh, access connector for databricks okay so just use access connector you can see this option access connector for azure databricks so create an access uh, connector which is nothing but a service which used for uh, connecting databricks with the storage account or adls so go ahead and create a new access connector and the resource group you can choose whatever the resource groups uh, we created so this is unity catalog demo and uh, my access connector whatever the name you can choose okay or uc access connector that is also fine this is since this is used for unity catalog connection and the location choose the same location like south india and tags it's a default <coughs> uh, optional and uh, again you can leave with this default settings and manage identity by default is on yes you don't need to make any changes here review and uh, create so this will create access connector and uh, this access connector we use for connecting data bricks with uh, this adls storage so now back to the uh, resource groups <coughs> and you can see the couple of other resource groups also created which is done as part of our deploy resource deployment and this is the resource group we created and uh, this is the one azure created uh, for placing some other resources and this is databricks resources you can see in this resource group and back to our main resource group <coughs> where you can see the storage account databricks workspace and uh, access connector also you can see in a moment yes these three resources are created the next we need to add storage blob contributor role for this access connector in this storage account so what you have to do is go to storage account and check you have a <coughs> and check you have a go to ident access control iam and uh, you have a uh, add role assignment option select that this option and uh, you need storage blob data contributor just search storage blob data contributor role select this role okay so we have we just uh, went to the storage account option and uh, identity and access control and select this role <coughs> and uh, use this manage identity option so the default is user group or service principle but choose this manage identity option and select members so under the second option manage identity choose access connector for data bricks and uh, by default it will list all the access connectors available and choose this access connector so this is our uc access connector which we created select review and assign all right the permission will be added in a moment and back to this uh, unity uh, catalog demo resource group 
go ahead and uh, open databricks workspace <coughs> this is our databricks workspace and uh, launch this option okay use this launch workspace option to open the databricks workspace and here also it will ask for you to configure uh, this multi-factor authentication you can leave it now and uh, use this ask later then no <coughs> and uh, right this is the your workspace databricks workspace so for accessing unity catalog what you have to do is go to your extreme rightmost top and where use this manage account option okay and to ask later then no so technically it will open uh, this page accounts.databricks.net so you can use this page directly and hit like this accounts.databricks.com or from here you can reach there <coughs> okay so this is the unity catalog page and uh, where we will do our unity catalog configuration from this page either you can use this accounts.databricks.net directly or from here manage account option so that's it about the prerequisites we will see in the next video thank you